happy Friday. Well, it's Friday for me. Um, a few hours before work. So I got some stuff in the mail the other day and I'm here to unbox it with you. So one of the first things I got was my Anastasia Beverly Hills and Alyssa Edwards PR package. Now, um, I hope you all know you can buy PR packages from certain companies. So yes, I bought mine. Sorry, I ain't that popping yet, but it was definitely worth the money. This is beautiful. Ooh, oh my gosh. Y'all, gorgeous. Now I can't lie to you, I did open the box as soon as I got it when I got home from work that day, but come on now, I'm a child. The PR package comes with this mirror, really cute, bedazzled, says beast on the side, got the little lips on the front. Oh, you so honey. <laughs> yes. This is cute though, I really do love this. Of course, it comes with the palette. We'll be opening that in a minute and I'm gonna swatch it for you guys as well. And we also have the fan. Ooh, y'all ready for this? Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Ooh, I messed up, let's see. Can I do it with this side? No, let's do it this way. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. Right, so this is really cute. It says always and forever with her signature on the back. Love the eyes, it's the same thing that's on the front of the box. And let's see. All right, let's get this plastic out of here. Ooh, it comes with a nice size little mirror. Okay, so we got a mirror. I hope you guys can see that. All the colors, they're so pretty. But yeah, as you can see, this isn't your typical regular palette. This isn't what I would consider an everyday palette. It is very vibrant, very colorful. So for me personally, um, I bartend on the weekend. So this is fine for me because that's like partying for me because I have fun at work. So we're gonna give this some swatches and we're gonna see what this looks like in a minute, okay? So I felt it was only right to use an eyelash stencil for this palette. Shout out to Misfits Designs. Be sure to check her out on Instagram and Etsy. Let's get into these swatches, you guys. I definitely used a primer for these swatches. I would have used one on my eyes, so why not for the swatches? The primer I used was the Rumor Base in shade number four by P. Louise. This first color we have is Headliner, this pale white. I probably won't use it for anything, but maybe a lid color or maybe a good base for a lid color. The next one is Inspire, which is very pretty shimmery gold. You only have three shimmers in this palette, so that is one of them. The next one, which is under the white, is the Unicorn Tribe, which is very pretty. It's a nice pigmented magenta. I'll probably be using that a lot. The next one we have is Brick Road, this pretty yellow, which I'm sure was inspired by the movie Wizard of Oz. The next one is this very hot pink, which is Texas Made. Then we have Dream It, which is a really pretty blue. It honestly came out a lot darker than I thought it would. We also have Back Rolls next, which is a very nice deep brown. It's a good crease color depending on the look you're going for. Next we have the Supreme, which I'm sure was inspired by American Horror Story, but why not? And after that we have HOE, which is for me a very neutral brown, almost kind of a nude for me. Like, without the primer, you probably wouldn't be able to see it. The next color is DDG. Not sure what it stands for, but it is a very pretty shimmery purple. I will definitely be using that as much as I can. The next one is a very dark, dark purple. It looks almost like a brownish black, but it's you can still see the hints of purple. It's really pretty. It's called BBDC. Once again, something else I don't know what it stands for. We'll have to ask Alyssa. The next one we have is Beyond, which is a really pretty shimmery pink. I really like it. It'll probably get used a lot too. I do like my shimmers. They always tend to make the best lid colors. And the last two colors are Believe, which is a very dark purple. I definitely didn't think it was gonna come out this dark. And Beast, which is a beautiful black. I really like this black. It's really pigmented and it seems like it'll be the one to get the job done. 
I've done my eyebrows off camera and I've primed my eyes and I've also put primer on. What I used for my eyebrows was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade of Dark Brown with the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil in the shade of Dark Brown. I like to use a pencil for the front and um, pomade for the back. So I will do a brow tutorial on another day. I'm gonna take the color Texas Made and I'm just gonna go on the inside here of the eye. I usually pat my shadows in, especially on top of this P. Louise base. By the way, I used um, the P. Louise, P. Louise base in the shade of Rumor 4 to just prime the eyes. As blended it in. So I just pat sometimes and then I go in and I begin to blend because since we didn't set our primer on our eyelids, we don't want it to move or shift anything or create any wrinkles. So because it was still a little wet, I prefer to pat my colors down and then try to go in a circular motion. I'm gonna go in here with Believe, which is that purple color right there. See how we do here and see what it gives me today. Is it gonna be the tea, sis? Mm -hmm. I'm liking it. So I'm gonna take my P. Louise base in the shade zero, which is like, you know, notebook paper white, receipt paper white, lens wipes white, baby wipe white, honey, like. Background on Microsoft Word white, honey. White, white, honey. <laughs> Crayon white, honey. <laughs> and we're gonna use it to cut our crease. It's gonna be a really simple makeup look, ladies. We're gonna take our time and make sure it is precise and right, honey. As I apply this, I'm gonna look up and that's gonna help the primer transfer on the upper part of my lid for the crease. take the back side of this and I'm going to put it in the purple shimmer we have down here, DDG. I'm going to put that at the end of the gold to kind of bring that purple in more. The foundation that I'm gonna use for you at sis, here she is, is Chai in the from the Born This Way Too Faced collection. So um, usually I take two pumps. Maybe it's because my face big. That's what I'm going. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I got a big face. I need two pumps. At least a pump and a half. Like maybe not the whole pump but at least most of it. And I just put it on the tip of my finger and do my little dots because who wants to unnecessarily use more foundation? I find that when I dot my face like this, it's easier to distribute my foundation as opposed to the streaks and stuff because sometimes you might run out of what you put for yourself on your, in your little space on your hand or wherever you may be putting it. And then you gotta use more product. This stuff ain't cheap, honey. Ain't nobody. Mm -mm. We not playing them games over here, sis. Put some on my. So when I apply my foundation, I use a beauty blender first, and then I follow up with a brush afterwards. It just gives me a more blended and natural looking foundation application. I'm also gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade of medium deep to hold back some of the sweat that might accrue over the night before I highlight. And for highlight, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn.
So just like when I do my foundation, when I blend my highlight, I use a sponge first and then I follow up with a brush. As I said, it just gives me a really super blended out look. So like our fave Jackie Anna, I let my under eye highlight sit and I blend it out last. I find that this technique helps the product to stay on longer, well stay in place longer more so, and it keeps it looking good for the next few hours. For setting powder, I used the original No Color powder from the Research Council of Makeup Artists or RCMA Makeup and I just lightly apply it over the highlighted areas so that I can dust it off afterwards and what it's going to do is leave no opportunity for a flashback. So as I'm finishing out this look, I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara It's kind of like a primer before I put on my lashes. And then I'm going to go ahead and go on my under eye with some eyeshadow just to go ahead and finish out this look. I'm also going to follow up behind that with some bronzer and that's just going to help me blend out those edges around my highlighted areas and make it not look so harsh. So you may have noticed I didn't contour and that's because I feel like most times contouring is kind of harsh and a little too heavy so I just use my bronzer even around my nose just to give me a nice lightly contoured look. And here we are. Ooh. And here we are with the finished look. Ow. Girl, we came out so cute. Yes, yes, yes. So let me just say, y'all, I really, really, really love this PR baggage. Because, honey, <laughs> I got a handheld mirror to look at myself, girl. So cute. But I must say, I didn't have these kinds of expectations, but I did. The colors were vibrant, but it was ABH. Sometimes those palettes don't come out the best, but this palette, this palette is bomb. This PR package was even more bomb, especially because it is fan, honey, because I don't know how to access. I'm gonna do this all day. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I love, love, love this collection though. It was awesome. Um, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. This is my very first video, so we're gonna hope that it even makes it to the public, more or less, <laughs> that you guys like it, if anything. So thanks so much. Leave a comment below and have a good day. We out of here. Ow.